Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, Darker Gaming, and we are here talking about Heroes of the Storm. Patch note, September 8th, 2015, and this is one of the big, mighty patch that follows a very, very badass nerf to a badass hero. We're gonna be sad that it got nerfed, sadly. But, continuing on with this po this patch note, um, there's a few um, promotional endings for it, and that would be the Diablo 3 and Diablo 3 Reapers of Souls players will no longer automatically receive Diablo Hero as upon logging on into the Heroes of the Storm. Uh, those who receive Diablo through the promotion has permanently unlocked him, so that's good news for everyone who has. Um, all the treasure go or treasure goblins have uh, invaded the Nexus during the Eternal Conflict has been exterminated as a result of the special event quest. Kill a treasure goblin and kill 50 treasure goblins will no longer appear as the quest log and can no longer be completed. So sadly, you can't get that anymore. Um, so the Eternal Conflict has ended. And a new patch has begun, so there has been some new bundles added onto this patch, and that'd be the Frostlord Rex R bundle. So it's only available for a limited time. Please note that and try and get it when you can. Um, there is a new hero. It's Rex R, so your hunter. Um, a new mount or mounts changes. So returning mounts are the Butcher Beast, which is like now able to be purchased individually as an item. Um, there's the Cyber Wolf and the Dire Wolf are coming back. And then the mount that is being removed is the Magic Carpet. And the skin. So there is a new skin and it's going to be the Frost Lord Rexar and the Rexar Master Skin has been added to the shop. So let's go on to the interface. So Hero League. Um, additional party size rules has been added to Hero League, which na which is now limited to players who queue alone or in parties of two. Learning more about this change can be, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try linking it down below, but um, I'll talk about it. Um, so party size changes for Hero League, we, they, they made a big change to rank play uh, within this latest patch. Uh, in the few days following it, they saw quite a bit of discussion around the new maximum party size rules for Hero League. After reading through the player feedback, we, uh, they, they examined internal data in order to determine how additional party size limit might affect rank play and decided to further restrict Hero League to players who queue alone or in parties of two. When we look, or when they look, into the data for parties of three and four par players in Hero League, we often see skill gaps among players, member, party members. Um, this is fine for parties of four, for example, we who have agreed to queue together despite of uh, any differences in skill. That may exist. However, the matchmaking maker needs to comp compete the team by pulling in a fifth player he queued up alone and did not necessarily wanted to play with teammates of very skill level. This could also create situations in which par party members will discuss strategies with each other but don't end up communicating with the game plan to the fifth member. On the other hand of the spectrum, solo players may disagree with the parties decision or um, show unwillingness to help the uh, team. So this is like a um, fraction for both sides and if communication doesn't improve. Well the more, what's more, parties of three and four players appear in Hero League queues far less often than solo players. The parties of two also, such we feel that larger parties represent a small enough portion of rank play, and are comfortable removing them from Hero League in order to improve overall match quality. This changes to 
restrict Hero League to solo and duo queuing players. We'll allow um, our next game update. As always, we're going to monitor. They're going to monitor ha the effect of Hero League experience and further adjustment as necessary. Um, so they can play Hero League once the changes has gone live and let us show their new thing in the forums. So leave, leave some comments in the forums about this new change. So what next? Well, reporting players. So silence player at penalties has become a thing. So players who are frankly reported for abusive chat has will be given silence penalty. And while silenced, players will not be able to chat in game or in general or custom or chat channels or in hero league chat lobbies and cannot send whispers message to non friends. A player first silence penalty is 24 hours each penalty received first will double in duration and then no maximum amount of time that a player can be silenced so silence players will be notified about the penalty and the remaining duration of each time they are logged in so this is good to see and you'll see an orange bubble icon onto their screen so this is going to be a good thing and I will also link a description about that down below. And you'll be watching a gameplay of the new hero um, in this um, in this video uh, of me playing. Um, when that goes up, I will be doing that when the game comes out available. But right now, the patch note, there's um, a little bit of bugginess. There's a mismatch. Um, um, game game version right now so no one's able to actually play it except the people who are already in a game before the patch so that's like that, that's the only people who are in a game right now so the party size changes for hero league so there there th that is a big thing but now we have a new reporting option and silence penalty and that's a huge huge step so um, there's gonna be a tab in the score tab you can uh, change categories abusive chat uh, intentional feeding they're gonna be um, AFK non um, participation cheating botting hacking inappropriate names spamming and those are all things we know that um, avoid after players may worry about reported for non participation and murky um, lovers may be concerned about receiving intentional feeding and reports. However, we've taken heroes with unique uh, mechanics into account. That is good to know from them. So they have taken that into effect. And um, you may notice that the harassment report category has been replaced to a piece of chat. Undesirable uh, chat messages can take on any form in a piece of chat category. Not only it covers a much wider variety of than harassment, but also fits nicely in our new consequences of behavior in chat, which is the silence. The silence permanently. Um, so there's a possibility to get um, uh, the silence permanent permanently, and you cannot use anything. Anything. Silence players can use. Um, um, or silenced players cannot use allied chat in game, hero league draft lobbies, game or general chat, custom chat, and whispers to non friends. But silenced players can use uh, party chat, create, suggest, and request parties, send and receive friend requests, send whispers to friends, reply to whispers from non friends and issue in-game ping, so that's a good thing. But, here are some more things that you should know about this patch, which is the heroes. The heroes changes is going to be a big thing, and that is going to be a great, great uh, meta meta change, because you normally still see Katos, and Katos is very, very strong still, even after the little nerf of taking away a talent, and now that has been nerfed. Chain bomb at 13. Now no longer um, chain bombs to every enemy. It's now the closest three enemies 
and they will take on preferably heroes if they do hit first before minions so that's good to know but there is a big change and that is a huge huge dps drop for kt kt is going to be not probably showing up in the uh, meta games for this patch and probably not in the future anymore this is the biggest talent change in like the history for kt is going to be i thought the last one was a big nerf but this one is a huge one so, a bug fix. Abathur's toxic uh, nest will no longer provide large, larger than intended area of vision. So that's interesting. User interface fixed a di display issue affecting vehicles and objective unit stats, um, stats bar. And then team league uh, games are now properly listed as team league in the match history and then unknown. So. That was a bug fix, and that's good to see. So that's pretty much it for this Heroes of the Storm patch note, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay that is being played as I speak, as I do this commentary over it, and hopefully it's a good one. Until next time, I'll catch you guys later. way. Choose a talent. I hear the call of the wild. I wander alone. Now is the hour of my golem's return. I'm acting on instinct. <laughs>
The enemy is attacking your core. There are always more skulls than they have. Our paths converge. Let's move. Enemy forward shattered. The path is long. that friend our paths converge I've got the scent Choose a talent. So be it. So be it. For the Lord, I wander alone. Dying wretch. Break me and destroy your enemy. Your core is under attack, heroes. You will need to gather more stones than that.
I'm acting on instinct. Thank <laughs> you. 